Hey there guys, I'm Ty. And I'm Fred. And this is... I'm Kira. This is Kira. And welcome to We're Better Together. Happy holidays, guys. Ooh, Hope man, you had a beautiful. wonderful Christmas. Yes. And happy Kwanzaa. All right, all right. <laughs> and all as right. we get into the new year, um, we wanted to drink some beer. Okay, so we brought Kira here. She is our Cicerone in training. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what a Cicerone is, Fred, why don't you tell us? Well, a Cicerone is a master of beers. Yes, it's a beer specialist. Okay. So tell us a little bit more about Cicerones and exactly what they do, because I had no idea that they were called Cicerones. So um, initially, I had no idea that they even existed. Right. Um, you're so used to hearing about sommeliers and wine masters. Yeah. And so when I heard that there were beer masters, right. I was amazed. But right. basically, they study the beer styles, how the beer is made. Mm -hmm. And when you move up into the different levels, because you start as a certified beer server, mm -hmm. and then you have level one, two, three, and four. Wow. And then you become a master Cicero. Master. And there's really only maybe less than 20 master Cicerones in the world. Wow. wow. Yes. Okay. That is so amazing. It's difficult. So wow. she will be a master Cicerone one day. Just yes. watch yes. out for Kira. We're going to follow right. her. Yeah. <laughs> and so I am not a beer drinker. Neither is Fred. We're no, not beer no. drinkers. But Kira here has gotten us <laughs> um, into to being interested in drinking beer. Um, so, yeah, she has some great holiday beers on this episode. And so we're so excited and ready. Are you guys ready? I'm oh, ready. We're ready. All right, let's All right. get started. All right. <laughs> so, Kira, which uh, beer do you think we should start off with? So, you're definitely going to want to start with your lighter beer just because okay. we don't want to have too much on our palate. Okay. And what is that? So, we're going to be trying this pumpkin pie sour. It is from Martin House Brewing, which is actually a Texas brewery. Hey. Martin House is actually in Fort Worth. It is one of my favorite breweries. They're known for their sours. They're known for their crazy flavors. They actually came out with a Hot Cheetos beer. Oh, wow. Hot, hot Cheetos, Cheetos, Cheetos beer. Takis. Ooh and hot wings. Oh, All of these were experiments that they put out yeah. <laughs> during Corona. And this one, guys, is called Mama's Pumpkin Pie. Mm. Pumpkin Pie Sour with Lactose. Mm. And I know that sounds weird, Yeah. but the lactose is just added um, since we met lactose is just milk sugar, but it's just added for a little sweetness, but mainly for the texture of the beer. Oh. It actually changes the way it feels on your palate. Wow. wow. Okay. Wow. I'm so All right. Much. All right. So first thing, I definitely think um, we should smell it first and okay. maybe see what you think, right, how you feel go. about it. Okay. Ooh. Smells like beer. Yeah, it still <laughs> smells like beer. <laughs> Yeah, still smells like beer. Looks looks like beer. Looks like beer. Yeah. Bubbles Probably. like beer. Bubbles like beer. Yeah. Does it taste like beer? I guess we have to find out. All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We're almost at the new year. Here we go. Okay. Oh. That's that's not really ooh. That's pleasant. Mm. But it is sour. Mm -hmm. Oh, it gets you in your jawline. It's soft. Sours are definitely my favorite style Ooh. of beer. Yeah, that's different. Mm. It don't really taste like beer, like it's beer not, beer. Yeah. But you can taste the beer, but it's not strong. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it was light. Mm -hmm. It is light. Really light on it's the like palate. A, I don't know. It's like a lemon flavored water. It's like, it's like <laughs> it, you know, you know what? Mm -hmm. he, I think he, that's. Man. Kind of lemon like a spiced water. water. Yeah, like a spiced lemon. A citrus, uh, citrus sparkling water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Citrus sour sparkling water. Citrus sour sparkling water. It's, it's better than... With bubbles. Yeah, it's pretty good, though. <laughs> but, but the name says Mama's Pumpkin Pie. Oh, whoa. That threw me off. My mama don't make monkey pie. Mm -mm. Pumpkin pie. Right. But 
And I'm not really. I'm not tasting no pumpkin. I'm, mm -mm. No. There's no spice. No. You mm -mm. taste the sour. The sour is is really is prevalent throughout the whole. You know the whole. Yeah. Every time you sip it, that's all you really taste is sour, lemony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't taste any pumpkin. I don't taste no. Well, I don't really taste pumpkin pie at all because I don't eat no. pumpkin pie. No. Not saying. Go back with those pumpkin treats we had on the first episode. Those were delicious, by the way. Mm. But the pump, uh, yeah, the pumpkin is not there. Mm -mm. But I think it could be due to the style. If they would have made it a dessert beer instead of a sour, um, it probably would have been a little more mm. okay. present. Okay. Because they did a same one of these beers, but it was a banana Foster's, mm -hmm. and it was a dessert beer with bananas and rum. Mm -hmm. Tastes just like a banana Foster. Okay. Okay. Man, that's a good observation all there, right, kid. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it up. Right? On to the next beer. Next, we're going to try the Christmas Ale from the Breaking Ridge Brewery. Um, all right, Kira, tell us about this one. So, the Christmas Ale is actually created in the style of what they call a winter warmer. Mm. And these normally start popping up about the end of October, but there's a bunch of winter warmers and they're literally made to warm you up. Okay. So a lot of them are gonna have a little bit higher ABV. Mm -hmm. okay. So normally I like to use Heineken as a gauge. Heineken is five and a half percent. Okay. And our Christmas ale is coming in at a nice whopping 7.1. Mm. All right, okay. So let's see, normally Christmas ales are going to be a little spiced. And it'll be a first for all of us because I've never tried this one. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's pop it open. Okay, hot and spicy. <laughs> Christmas just happened, and now we're about to drink some Christmas ale. Ooh. Let's go. I'm a little nervous. The first one was pretty good, though, so. Oh, look at that color. It's Ooh, a lot yes. darker. Ooh. It is, it and is. Amber. Tell us about the different colors of beer. So there's actually a really interesting chart. Um, and it basically talks about how you can see or kind of guess what the beer is going to taste like based on its color. Oh, wow. So they have some where you see like your light beers, like your Corona and your Bud Lights, yeah. and those are more straw colored. Um, even the one that we just had was more of a golden straw. Yeah. And this one is coming in. Real root beer like. Root Ooh, beer, wow. amber. Okay, let's see. Very amber. Mmm, okay, mm, okay, I smell something going on with it. Okay. It smells like beer again. <laughs> Yep. But it's, it's something different. It's not as strong. Ready to go in for it, ladies? Let's go. All Let's right. Do Cheers. 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 <laughs> That'll warm you up. Okay. It's malty. Yeah, it's the malty. malt. I taste mm -hmm. the malt. Yeah. So you know how we started with the other one and it was really light on the palate? Okay. Do you feel that difference of how it feels like it's yeah. kind of sitting on your tongue and more? And that taste is there, mm -hmm. like for real. It's, yes. It's, mm -hmm. it's still there. It's, it's there. So it's, it's yeah. all the way there. Okay. Yeah. This is mm. definitely beer, this one. She's a little heavy. Yeah. She's heavy. Nothing wrong with a little heaviness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's a big bag of Christmas over there. Yeah. It does say malty, mm. full-bodied, winter warmer. I want, like, mm. do you get warm as you continue to drink it? Mm. I'm getting warm. Do you I feel get, it? Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting warm. Do you feel I'm it, Mr. Switch, oh, wow. I'm about to switch sides. Wow. Okay. Oh, I can't see nobody now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, I'm getting warm. It's warm. Mm -hmm. But it, it does is. taste like beer. I don't taste anything special like the first one it, it was certain flavors and things like that and so honestly mm. this one just tasted like beer to me okay okay all right yep this this one yeah i could pass on it yeah. but you get the winter warm yes yeah, it's there the winter warm it does what it's my say. sweater warm <laughs> <laughs> yeah this mm. one 7.1 mm. i can taste it uh, Oh, it's strong. It's oh. not like super strong, but it's. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's warm. Mm -hmm. It lived up to the full bodiedness. Mm. Oh no, <laughs> face. Oh. <laughs> the beer tasting uh, face. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, that bottom lip. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, we. It's a bottom lip. Mm, that kind of Ooh. finished off like some Hennessy. Yeah. I know. That's what it's, it's coming hard. It bro. is. Oh, wow. Ooh. And you guys had more than I did. Oh. It definitely. Oh. That'll put a coat on you. I know I yeah. made an ugly face, but. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Christmas L. Not, hold up, let me get a whistle. That was chestnuts <laughs> roasting. <laughs> Man. Okay, guys, next we got Devout Imperial Milk Stout Creme Brulee. Ooh. Mm. Kira, tell us about that one. So, the Devout Milk Stout is actually one of a rotating series. Um, we have Creme Brulee, but they also have Mexican hot chocolate. Mm. They have a golden marzipan. Mm. And it is actually from the Three Nations Brewery, which is right up the street in Carrollton, Texas. Oh, okay. wow. Cool. All right. Shall we crack her open? Shall I? I think she comes okay. with a warning. Uh oh. The milk stout is going to be heavy. She's about 8.3%. And um, luckily we have the milk in there because the lactose will sweeten it up and, you know, affect the texture. Wow. But we're in for a treat. All right. We got three stouts with three people. Oh. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Dang, Gina. <laughs> it looks like Coke. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. With, like, some chocolate milk floating on top. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> That's that Texas tea. Ooh. 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 <laughs> edit all of this up, Ooh. by the way. Ooh. 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 Oh, I don't like Ooh. him. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. Oh, my <laughs> oh gosh. Man. The longest pour. I know. Ooh. All right, oh, it smells so good. Oh my god! It smells like coffee. Oh, it does. Like an espresso yes. shot. Yes. Oh. oh my gosh! I'm excited because I love look, some look coffee. At that. Look at that. What they call that? The, the, the foam they call it. Oh, the head. The head. Yeah. Look at that head, guys. Wow. Wow. Dynamite head. But it smells so good, guys. It doesn't smell beer like at all. And maybe, okay. maybe a little hint of beer, but just very small. But it's. Mmm. It smells like an espresso yeah, it shot. Like it smells so like good. Are right, we, we ready? Go. Ready? Cheers it up. Cheers. Let's see. All right, here we go. Oh my. Okay. I love that. Okay. I can live with that. Mm. Oh, I taste some coconut up in there. Okay, a little bit. You taste that? A little bit, I think. Like almond joy? I'm trying to find Sometimes it. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes trying... you don't. Ooh, wee. I don't get the coconut. I can definitely taste the espresso, though. I like the coffee. Mm hmm. Okay, and so that's the creme brulee. Yeah, that's a like burnt, mm -hmm. like a burnt yumminess. And then burnt the, cream. Mm. Yes. yes, yes, yes. And the stouts, pretty much. I I like to tell people if you like coffee, you're probably gonna like stouts because they pretty much always taste like a blonde espresso shot. Mm. And this one is just a little bit sweeter. Yeah. You get that little that little milk sugar sweetness. Yes. I'm not big on coffee, but I, this is okay. I like it. I like coffee, though. This actually doesn't taste as strong as the last one, but it's stronger. You're right. It is stronger. So that's scary. Uh-oh. She's going to sneak up. Uh -oh. She's going to sneak up on you. Mm. Want some cream I need some creamer. Mm -hmm. Not some creamer. Mm. You're going to mess up a good cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. mm. Stout. Ooh. Creme brulee. I might just bottoms up. This is going to be tough. You think so? The Christmas ale was a little bit easier. I think the Christmas ale was harder. Ooh, me too. But that's because I enjoy. <laughs> I think it was easier because I enjoy coffee. So you, so you don't like coffee at all? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yep. He does with creamer. That's why I need some creamer. A lot um, of creamer to the point where it's dessert. Yes. Mm. That explains that it. That explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is interesting. Yeah. This, is tough. this reminds me of my times at Starbucks. Mm. I love it. <laughs> he, he drinking Robitussin. Wow. 
What are you doing? Daddy. I'm done. <laughs> oh my God. You need some tissue? You need... That's tough. Is Ooh. it? This no, is so we're... smooth. It's very smooth. You must have never taken an espresso shot. No, I don't like coffee. Oh, okay. So <laughs> this is The Christmas Bomb mm -hmm. by Prairie Artisan Ale out of Ooh. Oklahoma. Okay, wow. see? Okay. So it is an imperial stout. Okay. Brewed with spices such as cinnamon, clove, allspice, star of anise. Is it anise? Yeah. Anise? Yeah, anise. anise. Yeah, there we go. And so I'm going to pour it first and let you taste it, and then I'm going to tell you the ABV. Oh, oh wow. Okay. This is a Christmas bomb. Wow. This is super dark, okay? But this one doesn't have as much froth in it. Is there a reason for that? This one is a straight imperial stout, so it has no lactose in it. Mm. So we're in for a surprise. Mm. All, right. All right. Time to smell. Let's see. Ooh. 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 Mm. <laughs> Fritz. <laughs> We're not beer drinkers, guys. We are beer versions. Like, like yeah. we do not drink beer. Like, um, like, like low key. Oh, it smell like. It smell get? like like turkey gravy. <laughs> like for real, it smell now. It smell like beef broth. That was not the direction beef I was. Beef broth. Uh -huh. Like, like I don't know. It smell like some kind of meaty. Smell meaty. I don't know. Maybe my nose is like tripping, but that could be the anti-coffee. Do you smell coffee? I don't. Yeah, I you smell know, coffee. I smell. I don't know what I smell. It's not as pleasant as the as the coffee one, though. It's not as pleasant. Nah, yeah, but I, I don't know. It's like a. It's strong. Something is robust in it. When you walk like, into a furniture store. <laughs> it no, smells it's more woody. Like, it's more like it's more like you know when you. <laughs> It's more like what? It's more like when you, um, like shoe polish. Shoe what? Polish. <laughs> Look, I'm like, maybe I need to use one nostril because right. I'm not picking up the Karen, what are you? what are you getting from this? I'm getting some some coffee. I'm getting some roast. Maybe maybe that's yeah. where you get the oh, oh, roast. Yeah. Yeah. roast. Not wait, place. not roast as in pork shoulder, but roast <laughs> as in like roasted <laughs> coffee yeah. beans. Roasted, that's what it is. <laughs> Something okay. oaky. Yeah, it's like dark roast. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. You're right. Yeah. Maybe right. some Back, chocolate. See, she said oaky. Furniture store, wood. Mm hmm That's where I had. I was thinking of wood, oak, furniture store. Okay. You get some chocolate? Yeah. On the, maybe some dark, dark chocolate on the nose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I do that. Maybe some I do. dark chocolate. I do. Mm. On the nose. Yeah. I do. I do. Wow. Wow. Whew. <sighs> like oaky. Okay. Yeah. Oaky, Oaky, dark uh, dark Oaky dokey. Here we go. Finale beer. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Do you feel wow. the warmth? Yeah, this 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 drink is stiff, y'all. It's like you want to know how stiff this drink is. Ooh. One sip. Gonna put hair on your knuckles. I'm telling you, man, like Kira. real, real talk, like for real. Like we're werewolves now, <laughs> like yeah. not on your oh chest, straight to your knuckles. knuckles. Oh my gosh, I can definitely Ooh. say, man, that's tough. It is what it says. It is a Christmas bomb. Like this is, mm. this is a lot. Like it has little Santa, like slang, and like mm. he's like. On, in a race with like the snowman and other people, you know, with Oof. these gingerbread houses. Like, it's all of that. Mm. Mm. The fun thing is, mm -hmm. you can finish the beer and then try to spot the 16 differences on the bottle. Oh, oh, wow. It does say, can you spot the 16 differences? Wow. Mm -hmm. So you have to drink the whole bottle to see? <laughs> <laughs> You think you'll make it through? No, <laughs> man. Wow. So, you know, I said I was hiding the ABV until we tasted yes, it. Yes, you were. Yeah. So, we started with a 6%. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. We came in at 7.1 on our second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Then our last one. Our third one was 8. Um, 8.3. 8.3. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, we're going up. Christmas, Christmas bomb. Christmas bomb is? A whopping 
13% ABV. Damn. Oh my gosh, double than the very first one we drank. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's what yes. I feel like. In one bottle. You. That's how, that's how I feel. <laughs> Ooh, this is man. not for the faint of heart. All I have to say, guys, is drink smart. And if you drink too many of these, make sure you call you an Uber. Be smart and be responsible. Or just sleep it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I can taste, it does have a, it's strong, but it, it does have a softness to it, to me. It okay. does have like a, mm. and I think it's because I do like coffee and it does have some kind of coffee flair to okay. it. Mm -hmm. Even okay. to me, it's kind of woody and nutty, but yeah, it's not terrible. And so could you um could you tell how like the last one was a little bit different from this one like the last Absolutely. one was, was a little more sweet Absolutely. more approachable yeah yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 that one, was that lactose that's yeah, true yeah yeah i mean i mean we're we're not beer drinkers at all but no. honestly this doesn't taste like beer to me it tastes no, like something different it don't taste something like completely beer. different than yeah. beer um but it's a stout so what's the difference between like a like stout and just like a regular beer or is it all beers are a certain level of stout. Um, also, all beers are going to be like fall into some type of style. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so even like your most basic beers are normally pilsners, lagers. Um, a lot of people like IPAs. Um, you know, different things like that. So it it all depends on the fermentation process, the ingredients, and um, yeah, that's pretty much what establishes the style. But every single beer is going to fall into a style. Okay. Mm, okay. Here, do you have a favorite style? Um, my favorite style of beer would be sours. Okay. But stouts are really starting to come up. Um, I've found some amazing stouts, even from Prairie. Mm -hmm. I recently had one called Corner Piece, and it was an imperial stout with birthday cake in it. Oh, Ooh. that sounds good. It does. So good. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So now, guys, like always, we are going to vote on what we feel what was the best holiday beer, okay? From one being the best and four this time being the worst. Mm. Here we go. All right, we're going to start with Fred. Fred, what were your choices? All right, so I have the, the Christmas bomb coming in at last. Okay. Then I have the Christmas ale coming in at three. Okay. I have the creme brulee coming at two. And my number one pick was the pumpkin sour. <laughs> Mom's pumpkin sour, actually. It, it was right. the best to me. And the craziest part, uh, Fred and I. Wow. What is this? So I have the bomb fourth, the Christmas L third, creme brulee second, and the pumpkin sour. This is, hey. So let's hear from our Cicerone and see what is her like? choices. Okay. Here we go. So I had the Christmas ale coming in at number four. Okay. 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 I had the pumpkin coming in at number three. Wow. Ooh. Our first. Wow. Yep. I had the bomb at number two. Ah. Dang. And I had and the creme brulee. Yes. Coming in at number one. Wow, the creme brulee was good. I think the reason why I picked the pumpkin sour because it was so light. It was. Mm -hmm. And we're not beer drinkers, so as yeah. you can see, that's probably why our choices were the exact same. All right, guys, so it's so great to have our first guest, Kira Williams, our Cicerone in training for the first time, but definitely not the last. And we just want to remind you guys to get together with your friends, your family, your loved ones. We know this year has been a bit hectic, kind of crazy, but get with someone, you get with people that you love to lift your spirits. Guys, don't forget that it's better when we're together. Happy New Year, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.